All right, welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today we're going to be installing a new keyless entry on the front door here, as well as a handle and making some overall adjustments to the door so it operates a little bit smoother for us. <music> So one of the things that we have been wanting for a long time is to uh, address some problems with this door. This door sticks, it's real hard to open. Uh, the kids sometimes have to, they can't even shut it. It ends up being left open and stuff like that because it doesn't shut really well. Um, it's super loud and squeaky when we open it. And there, there's no sneaking in and out of this house, that's for sure, because it, uh, it'll wake everybody up if this door opens. Um, and also we wanted to have a keyless entry on here. I'm sick of, in fact, we've never had the key to this door uh, since we moved in here. Uh, the, the previous owners, I don't think they gave it to us and we've always just locked this door and gone out the back door and then had to walk around the back door to get in and out and unlock it from the inside so uh, it'll be nice to have an actual door that we can unlock and to not have to worry about keys uh, I don't like messing with keys I don't like hiding keys outside and stuff like that if you forget a key or whatever lose your keys or something like that and so having this keyless entry is going to be super super helpful for us uh, we also have uh, visitors sometimes when we need to let someone in the house or something like that and this gives us the option to do that so so we're going to go through getting this installed this is a quick set i'll go through uh you know exactly what we have here and of course there'll be links to all this stuff as well as any tools that i use in the description as always it's a pretty simple install but we're going to go kind of above and beyond make sure this thing just runs super smooth so just a couple things about what we're putting in here. This is a quick set uh, PowerBolt 2. This is their new touchpad keyless entry. Um, it's just, it just fits in the deadbolt area. So this is uh, just a deadbolt. And uh, basically you can use a key, of course, and then you also can program codes. This also has a smart key. I think it's called, uh, yeah, smart key. Um, and what that means is that since I bought the handle also is a quick set, and they actually did this for me at Home Depot, they, uh, you can program this key, actually. You can change the key hole here to match the key that comes with this one. And so they did that for me before I left the store. Um, they took the key out of here and they programmed it to work in this one. So now I have one key that works in both the, the regular handle as well as the deadbolt. But the plan will be to leave the handle unlocked and just use the deadbolt, which is the better lock anyway. Now, a couple things. I did not go with the smart lock, the Bluetooth, and, and all that kind of stuff. I just don't see a need for it. You know, if I ever want to unlock the door from my phone or have it, you know, in integrated into smart home stuff, I have other ways to do that. And so I didn't need to, you know, spend a bunch of extra money on that. Um, I just wanted to not have to deal with keys. And if you lose your key or don't have your key or you need to let someone else in the house when you're not home, you can just give them the, uh, the code. And so this will work uh, just so much better than, than dealing with keys. All right, so a couple things that you're going to want to have handy, uh, if you can, uh, to get this installed. Now, it does say that you only need one tool to install these, which is a Phillips screwdriver, and that is true. However, I would recommend having a, a screw gun and a number two and a number three uh, attachment uh, for the uh, Phillips um, because the screws for the strike plate are going to be a little bit bigger. They're, they take a number three. I also have this handy little oiler. I've had a couple of these. Uh, I'll put a link to these on Amazon. Um, I just put motor oil in there, used motor oil or just fresh motor oil. It doesn't really matter. And uh, I use this for everything. Now, this is what I'm going to use for our hinges and this door particularly because it is squeaky. And it's also a good idea to have a chisel. This is a small one. I think it's a half inch uh, DeWalt chisel. And these are super handy to have uh, if you just need to make some, some minor adjustments to the strike plates or, you know, just how things fit together on the, the door itself. Um, this is going to just help you make those, uh, those small adjustments. And lastly, if you need to make any adjustments to the door itself, if it's rubbing in any places or anything like that, it's nice to have a plane. This is just a cheap one from Home Depot. I think it's a Grizzly or something like that, um, but it's uh, served me pretty well. Uh, again, this stuff's not necessary, but uh, if you want to get the whole project done and done right, uh, we're going to try to uh, address any issues that we have with the door uh, along the process here. These things are super easy to install. We're just going to take the old deadbolt out, take the old handle out, and you just basically pop the new one in and screw things together. There'll be a couple screws here on the ends, and then the screws on the inside here that we'll take out, and then basically we're just going to put it back together in reverse order.
All right, so a couple things that I did here before uh, we get this mounted in here. Um, this, uh, this is a metal door, and it looks like we need to do some repainting here, so I'll do that another time. But um, this has like a, wear, a wooden kind of wear plate on the edge, all the way around, top, bottom, and uh, inside. And this was really rubbing heavy on, uh, on the edge of the trim here, on the edge of the door frame. And so I took a plane and just kind of shaved that down a little bit so that it, it fits. You can see it's just, just perfect now and so it doesn't rub. So the couple spots, you just kind of look through here and you can see where it's hitting. You can see the rub marks on the, on the wood and I shaved it down. Now I did shave it down a little bit more uh, because I'm gonna come back and paint this and that paint will add a little bit of a sticky layer to it. You also wanna be careful because you do have uh, expansion and contraction winter and summer. And so if you're in the middle of the summer, it's gonna be a little bigger. Um, in the winter time, it's gonna shrink a lot. So you don't wanna go too far if you're doing it in the summer because the winter time you'll you'll have a huge gap there um, i also took a chisel and just kind of shaved this back a little bit right in here because this wasn't sitting far enough you can see see a little scratch mark on there that's where it's, it was wearing uh, on this plate it was just protruding out a little bit too far and so now you can see it's it sits nice and flush in there uh, on all sides and so uh, just a, a cheap little chisel. You could even use a screwdriver. And if you don't have chisels, you can sharpen a screwdriver and actually use that just to kind of peel that wood out of there. Um, doesn't have to be pretty because it's all going to be covered. So, But we'll come back and, and paint all this up at another time. So we're getting ready to install the, the deadbolt and uh, I actually chiseled this out a little bit here as well so I can fit this strike plate in here. This is a security option that comes with the, the quick set deadbolts anyway. Um, and I want that to be real recessed in here. I don't want the door to, to hit it at all and there's gonna be some screws in here also. But if you leave this out, which most people do, and just use the wood insert here for the deadbolt to stick in, it is just useless because you can just kick the door open. All it'll do is just split the wood you know, out of here, you just, you know, a kid could kick it open. Um, the deadbolt really doesn't do you any good. Uh, but uh, once you put this in there, it's got like a two inch screw. It'll screw through the door jam and through the two by four, you can see back there, that's a, the stud. And with four long screws in there, that deadbolt sitting in this strike plate, it is much more difficult to bust this open. You'd need a real, a big ram or something to, to break through all that. And so uh, the average Joe We'll have a much harder time trying to kick that open if they can at all.
Well, it works very, very well. Um, pretty simple to operate. You can hit the lock button and it will lock. And then you'll enter a code, which we've changed and have some custom codes in here. You can put up to six user codes in there. They can be from four to 10 digits. And you just enter your code and then hit the lock button and it will unlock. Um, of course, you can use the key. And as I said before, the key we had, uh, had changed so that it works on both um, the deadbolt and the uh, handle lock. Um, the nice thing about this too is that you can also set a one-time temporary code in here and so maybe you know make a uh, pick a random four or six digit code or something like that and you can program it in here and then that way if you needed to let someone in kind of a one-time guest thing uh, you can give them text them that code or call you know give them that code over the phone and they can enter that that code they can only use it one time after that code's been used it erases itself out of the memory and it cannot be used again so that way you don't have to give out your personal codes to people who are just uh you know, going to be getting in once. Now it operates exactly how it should. <laughs> and I'm so happy that the kids can have all been up here trying it out. They can open the door uh, and close the door easily. It's not super loud anymore. The squeaking's all gone. Um, and uh, this thing is, is really easy to set up and operate. So I'm super happy with it. I've, I've had a lot of good luck with quick set uh, brand door knobs and handles and hinges and stuff I, i've used a bunch of their stuff um i'm not this isn't sponsored by them or anything but i have had real good luck with their stuff so i also if you're looking at replacing a door handle these handles instead of the knobs are, are so much nicer especially if you got something in your arms you're carrying up here you can easily hit these hit these handles and open that door with just your elbow or a leg or a knee or, or a finger i mean they're super easy and now with this thing being doesn't stick or anything it just is nice and easy to open. So I uh, really like those those uh, flat handles. I don't know what the name form is, but the not the doorknobs. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, little tutorial, I guess, or walkthrough on installing one of these uh, these keyless entries. This is the same process really for any you know, doorknob or door handle or a deadbolt, even if it's not a fancy one like this. Um, process is pretty much the same. So hopefully it'll help you out if you're looking to do this. And uh, if you haven't checked out these things, uh, check the check these things out. They're not too bad as far as price goes. Uh, lots of different options and man is it just nice to not have to mess with keys so don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video today and don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time to the SSL Family Dad channel if you subscribe and hit that little bell you'll get notified when we post new content and uh, love to have you guys tag along we uh, have all kinds of stuff from farming and gardening and DIY things and projects like this and building things and tearing things apart and burning things and just about anything that you can do uh, out here on the farm so love to have you guys tag along of course and as always thanks for watching have a good one. Mm -hmm.